Hi there, Trevor here from the Option Key. I'm going to go over how to properly set up uh, Intel Network Teaming and VLANs on Server 2012, 2012R2, and Server 2016. To do that, you go through the uh, Server Manager. You click on the NIC Teaming, where it said Disabled. It'll take you to this interface here. You can see we have two Ethernet adapters. And we'll just have a look at the Windows properties. Now, in the adapter settings under properties, uh, if you go configure, you use this will just take a minute, but you used to get um, VLANs and tagging options uh, here in the properties. And you can see under advanced, we don't have anything like that. Just let me bring up a picture here of what it used to look like. Uh, yeah, you used to have a, there we go. This is, uh, you see we have a VLAN tab with um, new remove and modify VLANs on there. We'll just have a closer look here. So you can see the properties is very different. We have VLANs. Uh, nowhere there does it say VLANs. Uh, so uh, we have uh, many different networks. Uh, we see teamed adapter. No, that, that picture. Well, we have a VLAN tab and teaming, and we don't have any options for that here at all. Uh, just says driver is working properly. Uh, we have Pixie Boot, iSCSI, Disable, Power Management, but nothing. Uh, has to do with uh, teaming or VLANs. So how we set up the team, you can see we have two Ethernet adapters. We have no teamed interfaces. So under that, we under network adapters, we select Ethernet. You can see we can add to the team, but we want to add both adapters. We hit Control, click on both. Then we go under tasks, add to team, name our team. So I'll just call it the uh, name of the machine. Is that 10 PE D8 WS? And under additional properties, see we have switch independent, static teaming, and LACP. I'm going to select LACP, dynamic, address hash, and V port. I'm going to select dynamic. It's supposed to be uh, a good mix of the other two options. And if we had any standby adapters, we'd be able to select that. And we have the default VLAN set up. Now that we're creating our team, uh, there are a couple things we need to keep in mind the teaming mode and the load balancing mode. Uh, if you have a standby adapter and the primary team interface, but those two are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so the teaming mode, uh, you have static, teaming, switch independent, and LACP. Uh, switch independent, uh, switch or switches to which the NIC team members are connected are unaware of the presence of the NIC team and do not determine how to distribute the network traffic to the NIC team members. Uh, switch dependent mode, uh, the switch to which the NIC team members are connected determines how to distribute the inbound network traffic among team members. Uh, the switch 
has complete independence to determine how to distribute the network traffic and NIC team members. Uh, LACP is kind of like best of both worlds. Um, static teaming requires you to manually configure both the switch and the host to identify which links form the team. Uh, LACP mode dynamically identifies links that are connected between the host and the switch. Uh, this dynamic connection enables the automatic creation of the team and in theory, but rarely in practice, expansion and reduction of a team simply by the transmission or receipt of LACP packets from the peer entity. Uh, if you switch modes with dynamic distribution, the network traffic load is distributed based on transport ports address hash as modified by the dynamic load balancing algorithm. Uh, load balancing mode, you have address hash, Hyper-V port, and dynamic address hash. Um, address hash, the load balancing mode creates a hash that is based on the address components of the packet. Um, Hyper-V port uh, is mostly for uh, virtual machines running on the server. Um, the Hyper-V port mode for NIC teams that are configured on Hyper-V hosts have independent MAC addresses and the VM's MAC addresses or the port the VM is connected to on the Hyper-V virtual switch can be the basis upon which to divide network traffic between NIC team members. Dynamic is kind of best of both worlds. Uh, it util utilizes best aspects of each of the other two modes and combines them into a single mode. Outbound loads are distributed based on a hash of TCP ports and IP addresses. Dynamic mode also rebalances the loads in real time so that a given load outflow may move back and forth between team members. Inbound loads are distributed in the same manner as Hyper-V port mode. So, uh, typically I like the LACP with dynamic load balancing for the setup. I don't have any standby adapter here and I already have my uh, primary VLAN interface as the uh, native untagged VLAN and that's what the server or cluster if it were the case uh, would typically use because the untagged VLAN would pick up anything that isn't specifically specified. Uh, that's just how um, I've read that uh, should be set up. Uh, that way then if uh, something happens uh, software wise in the switch, uh, it's more or less the uh, default setting for the uh, port. Uh, you know, uh, these are some pretty heavy uh, Hyper-V uh, servers, so it could be, I could do an LACP and a uh, Hyper-V host teaming, but that isn't really necessary in this case. Uh, so that is more or less how I like it configured. So LACP, which gives me uh, both redundancy and uh, throughput uh, with the dynamic load balancing, which more or less gives you the best of both worlds between Hyper-V port and uh, address hashing. Okay, so now we're going to create our NIC. You can see that uh, we have a team here. Uh, it'll just take a few minutes for the network to get configured. Look at the properties. It's default. We have the name of our NIC. And if we were specifying VLANs, we could do that too. 
Okay, now we're going to create our VLAN with our team selected. Under tasks, we're going to add interface, specify our VLAN. In this case, we're going to go 110. And we're connected. If we want to add another interface, in this case, say uh, 130. I'm going to bring up our command prompt. And we're going to just uh, do a ping. And we got a response. So everything appears, appears to be working. We had our switch set up properly. We put the VLAN tag into the team interface and it all works. So, and that's how you set up. Uh, VLAN and network teaming on server 2012, 2012 R2, and 2016.